Okay, so I found this mannequin arm in the weird shaft room where the ladder from the freezer is that doesn't make any sense. I expected it to be a bit more than... The doctor's not here. Okay, so what about this special book? Mm -hmm. What does it say? No, read it. Read. It's a copy of Mein Kampf. Or perhaps an original. It's all in German, but I found a photograph between the pages. Really? Photo. Let me let me look at the photo. Let me look at the photo. This must be some kind of neo-Nazi. Why on earth would he keep a picture of Hitler saluting the crowds? Can I come out? Can I do that? I didn't do anything. Can I press this weird... Yes. Um, if I get this right, switching on this thing on will bring the person in the chair back to life. It would be pointless to do it now. Yes, because there's no one in there. EG machine is already switched on. The battery cannot help with anything. Hmm. Was it his right arm in the picture or was it left? No, it was his right arm. Her, her, her. I'd rather not sit in it. No, I do not blame you. Lever. Ooh, ooh, what was that? There was something moving in there. Is that Hitler? I don't know how to open this thing. Besides, I really don't want to. There was not a blood trail from the other side. I know I've carried around human heads with me, but I really don't think this arm will be of much use. Yeah. Ooh, more shotguns and stuff up there. Shells. Oh, thank God. Box of shells. Combine them with the shot. What? Shot. Thank you. Okay. Body parts. Yeah, don't know what to do with them. Barry, perhaps? He's dead. He won't talk to me no more. No more? No more. Don't say no more. Maybe it's better. It's better if you don't say no more. I've still got two of my own legs, by the way. <gasps> Chainsaw. My God, I shouldn't take this. I shouldn't because I fear I'll use it. But it's so beautiful, so tempting. It's singing your name, Ivy. You're gonna kill your wife with that. Yeah, he's just gonna leave the photos there. So I'm guessing we're here for the chainsaw. Hmm. Do we slice Sophie with the chainsaw? Considering we opened a cow's head with a saw, a cow? A pig's head with a saw before. Is this even the right? Agnes, stop it. I've told you, you're not allowed to be up there, but at least you have an entire body this time. Chainsaw. I'm grown up, Sophie. Oh my god, it's actually working. I've actually known what to do, kind of. We have legs. We have legs. We have legs. We're going and we're going to go rescue Ivy now. And hopefully not die. This this has gone too far. I've become a ruthless killer. I need to get out of here. And hope that it's not too late. I want you to use the lift, why won't you let me? I can just have turned her back to you, Joe. Are you smoking? Are you sharing your smoke? Are you making me wait here while you're smoking? Are you making me wait here in but you're not even chatting? At least chat and talk about something interesting while you're smoking. <sighs> We killed them all. All four memories of Sophie. Now we should find my wife and hope that it's not too late. Yes, let me use the lift now. Um, the mirror was on floor one. 
because it was to the staircase and then the twilight lounge and the other guy's gonna be back in here He's, we're gonna not expect him I'm surprised I haven't run into him. Why is it frozen? Are you are you going in there? I have to. This is the end of the road. Oh. Okay, but Joe, I think I'll stay here. This is all a bit too much for me. You've done well so far. Why quit now? You're going to save your wife now. You're the hero here, not me. It's just some person having a strange dream. And I can't stop thinking that it's your strange dream. And I'm just passing through, you know? Well, it's been nice dreaming with you, Agnes. I hope we meet each other again sometime when we're awake. <laughs> Who knows, maybe we will. But I must wake up now. There's something, something I must do. Yes, I understand. Goodbye and thanks for opening that gate for me. You just couldn't work out that one by yourself, could you? You're welcome, Joe. It's time for both of us. Goodbye, Joe. Okay. Ugh. Hello. Hello. It's you. Again. What do you want from me? This is the last time our paths cross. I'm going to smash you into pieces if it's the only way I can save Ivy. Say goodbye to your sick little world, Sophie. This is our final battle. And this time you die for- I should have saved. Die for good. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me have my inventory. Let me have my inventory. Let me have my inventory. Yeah. Use it with Sophie. Kill Sophie. Kill Sophie. Okay, you know what? Walk over here. Walk over here. Can I have my inventory? Can I have? Thank you. What happened to my shotgun? I'm gonna kill us this time for- With what? We have a box of shells but I seem to have discarded our- Stupid- What's this? This is our life. I've done nothing. It's a copy of mine. I don't care about mine camp. What did I do with our shotgun? Can I slap you with a fish? Wait, why is there, can I have my shotgun back? Shotgun. Thank you. Um, load. Thank you. Why is it, why are you throwing that on the floor? I don't, I think we're glitched. Why, why? Shotgun can shoot two tails at a time, making it extremely powerful weapon. Unfortunately, the barrel is empty. Oh. Can I have my shotgun back? And then can I go back over here? Uh, and can I use the reloaded shotgun? And then I'll go back over here. And I'll use the box of shells. And reload this shotgun. Thank you. What? 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 I don't understand. There is no life. There is no life that is leaving. No, you can't use the box of shot. No, reload. And I'm back here. See you guys again soon. We're re entering the mirror. And I'm bored with all your I'm going to kill you now speech. Yeah, shut up. Shut up. Just get with the killing. Right. Baby like creature is specifically warned about. No, let me. What? 
I feel like this is what her mental health issue is and it's like a baby that you grow. Stop it and let me have my inventory. Can I have my gun? Stupid bitch, just die. You should get... No, shoot it. Can you just actually do the reloading thing, please, instead of... Ugh. No, can you pick up the shot gun, you stupid boy? And reload it. Re re reload it! Thank you! Shoot this thing that's dying and finally causing her pain. Reload the shotgun. It's the only time I've ever seen your life go down, Sophie. I've killed you four times. Why are you still alive? Ew. That's a bit gross. Ivy! Oh my god. Is she... What? No, I do not want to shoot her. Ivy? I know what we're gonna do now. Because the doctor's dead and it was setting it all up for this because we're not stupid and we can figure stuff like this out. The hopefully she won't turn into a brainless brain eating zombie thing. Come on then, let's use the lift. What? I think if we're gonna resurrect Ivy and nothing happens, we have to go to floor five. What? This is impossible. I killed him. I'm sure I killed him. I did, didn't I? This is messing with my head. Is it some strange dream after all? Hey you! I don't know how you came back to life and I don't care. Just let me be. I've got nothing to do with you. Do you hear me? Not so chatty without your ex, are you? Alright, don't talk to me then. You just go your way and I'll go mine. <gasps> is that me? Is this so- Joey, you little shit. Look what you've done to me. Look what you've done to us. Dad? It's your fault that she- It's always been you. You made her do what she did. We both know that, don't we? You fucking killed her, you little bastard. You should never blame a child. Yeah, Joe. Yes. You faggot. You keep your little eye on your brother for five fucking minutes. He was always the better one. I wish it was you who died that day. I wish it was you. Maybe then. Maybe then Mary wouldn't have done what she had. You've blood on your hands, son. You've got blood all over you. You just hurt everyone near you. You made your mother kill herself. I had to do something. If it wasn't for the drink, I'd do just the same thing. But look at me now. I'm rotting in front of the TV set. And you, you're going to kill again. So fuck you, Joe. Fuck you. That's horrible. Let's put Ivy in the chair. Let us... Use the con... Not strap her in properly, apparently. Just use the control panel. And zap her. It's time to turn it off, Joe. This ends here. I only wish you I got here before you'd well, done what you'd done. Back off. I don't know who you are and what you want, but I know I must finish what I've started. I have to bring her back to life. Don't you understand? This is the only way. The only way. You've got no idea what I've gone through today. And I won't hesitate to shoot you. Joe, I need to you to put the gun down. We're both going to get out of this room alive. I'm not your enemy. I just want to help you. I'm not interested. Get lost. Can't you see? I found her at last. I can't stop it now because this is her only chance. Her last chance. Our... So please, leave me alone. I don't want to kill you. Go away. Just fuck off. I'm afraid I can't do that, Joe. I understand that you're very confused about what's happened here. But I can explain. Just give me two minutes and listen to what I say. Are you fucking deaf? I'm gonna blow your brains out if you don't leave me alone. 
Please, Joe. I'm a friend. Just listen to me. Story time. Wait, what? Everyone's ready. We've just been waiting for you, Billy. The team's in position. I understand you're taking it. Oh, okay. It's a police thing. I understand you're taking over. This is your case, Darren. I'm only here because Dr. Zineman was my friend. Yeah, sure. I'm sorry. Still, I thought you might want to get this guy yourself. We don't even know if it's him. Well, we've got the CCTV footage of him leaving Dr. Zineman's clinic as a witness to who saw him near the crime scene. And a witness. That should be enough to put him behind bars for a long time. Don't you think? It's all circumstantial evidence, so no, I don't think. I don't know. I've got a funny feeling about this. Something's not right. Okay. What do we know so far about the killer? The man we're after is Joe Davis. He lives in his apartment on top of the stairs. We don't know that much about him. He's never had any trouble with the law. There's no criminal record in his name and we couldn't find anyone who'd have information about him. No friends, no job, no social life really. Dr. Zellman's secretary describes him as quiet but bitterly sarcastic type of man. He's been seeing shrink regularly for over a year now. His file is missing. I couldn't find out exactly what was wrong with his head. But seeing what he's done to poor old Dr. Zellman, I seem this guy is a serious threat to anyone around him. Guess we'll find more evidence when we get inside his flat. Tell me what you found on the scene of the crime scene. Billy, are you sure you want to know the details? It was messy. Really fucking messy. I need to know, Darren. How exactly was he killed? The killer put his head through the window. And that was the only, only the start. Dr. Zellman tried to fight, but he was no match for him. He beat him up pretty bad. Then, Kurt's face with the glass from the window. Bloody hell, Billy. I spent a good hour cutting his defenseless body into pieces. I know the relationship between patients and their shrinks can be a bit uneasy sometimes, but this one... It was like the killer put all the hatred he had in him into punishing this one innocent psychiatrist. Our forensic team found a small saw on the crime scene. Our killer used it to cut through Dr. Zellman's skull and remove the brain. That was the pig! We did not do it to him! Which is missing? Yes. The killer must have taken it with him for some reason. Hmm. Why would anyone need a human brain? Who knows? Some kind of weird trophy? This guy must have completely lost the plot. Well, psychiatrists try to fix people's heads. Maybe by removing his brain, he's taken something he's a victim and he's most proud of. Something that's making his victim better than him. And a psychiatrist's brain would be a an exceptionally good one. Yeah. Dr. Frank Zellman had a fine brain. Perhaps it made our killer angry in the first place. Are you saying that he was jealous? Not exactly. He just felt like taking the brain would be a final humiliation to someone who frequently tried to fix his broken, sick mind. Someone who made him feel like a worse person. Billy, aren't psychiatrists supposed to make their patients feel better about themselves? Yeah, they are. But the only way to achieve this for the very reason their patients feel bad in the first is to find the very reason their patients feel bad. But I can't read! It's red writing! That includes uncovering very personal facts about the person's life, shameful secrets, things they often don't want to acknowledge themselves. And to share this with someone can be painful. So painful that sometimes they would deny the truth just because they're unable to face it. And then they get angry. The best solution is to get rid of someone who constantly points out there's a problem. It makes the problem disappear because their minds have already accepted the world as they see it. Madness becomes reality. They get used to it. They learn to live with it. They, to, maintain this, maintain? to maintain this false image that they won't even hesitate to kill. As long as no one finds out, they're happy to live a lie. That's right. You got it, Darren. You don't really believe he's going to be in, do you? Well... Yes and no. We've already established this guy's got mental problems. While most suspects would be crossing the channel right now to hide somewhere in France, we've got a feeling that our killer is not that predictable. Nevertheless, when we get inside his flat, we should be able to gather enough evidence to track him down. Psycho or not, it'd be suicide to hide in a flat after just having murdered the psychiatrist. Not suicide! 
We'll find out in a minute. We're in England. We don't shoot people. We don't have guns. We do not have guns. The team is waiting for you to open the door. I'm ready. Let's do this. All right. Well, we don't usually have guns. Tell the officer waiting by the door to break it in. Then we're coming in. Also, I would like to point out that most people with mental health problems are not a risk to other people. That is a very small minority. So, yeah, most of the time, they're not gonna hurt you. They're more likely to hurt themselves. And that's not all of them. We're going in, break the door. That was stupid. You don't use a gun to break open a door. You use your foot and do the fireman kick. Why do I think I'm a better policeman than these guys? I don't know. Let's go through the door. This is the reverse of the other apartment. Jo Joe's flat. That's where we're going. Oh, wow. So this is where our Joe lives. But who really is this man? Is it our killer? Or is it just an average Joe kind of guy? Ha 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 ha. It's time to find out. Oh, my back hurts from sitting for too long. Billy, this place seems empty. There's writing there. There's writing there. Look what he did to his crib. It's completely wasted. Don't assume it was him just yet. It's too early for that. Okay, fair enough. But the odds are good. My nose tells me that we'll find some clues here that'll lead to him sooner than I hoped. And my nose is never wrong. Have a look around, Billy. We need at least three pieces of evidence to make sure it's him. You don't mind helping me out, do you? No, for the sake of poor old Frank, this is my responsibility to find his killer after all. Were you already in here? Mr. Guy in yellow, because you weren't outside in the landing. See what you can find and come talk to me when you've got something. What are you going to do? I'll watch and learn. You've always been my mentor, Billy, but this time, like you said, this is your personal business. I don't want to get in the way. Right, well, let's move this curtain, because there's blood over here. <gasps> Bloody hell, Billy. What the fuck is that? It's a cat. No, not the cat. A black cat. Let's have a look at the writing. It's written in blood. I want to read the writing, so stand over here. And he punished those who stood in his way. The road to hell leads through blood and pain. Let's look at this axe, then. No, the axe. The axe. Thank you. Billy, I thought you'd know better than to touch anything. There could be a murder weapon with fingerprints on it. Relax, Darren. I know what I'm doing. Can I take the cat? Yeah, I should leave it there for now. There might be some fingerprints on it. There's fingerprints on the cat, but not the axe. Nothing here. It's in the paint painting, the phone. Because it won't let me click on the painting. The light is blinking. There's a message stored in the answering machine. Hi, Joe. It's Dr. Frank Zellman. You haven't showed up for your sessions for the last few weeks. I'm concerned. Is everything all right with you? I've tried calling you before, but you never pick up the phone. I know these things are hard to get over and you've struggled. A lot. I don't think you can cope with that on your own. Well, I'm always here if you need me. Don't forget that. Come and see me this Friday. I'll be waiting. Click everything. Anyway, go back over here. Can we look at the curtain again? Nothing on the curtain. The blood stain. This blood has to be analysed before we confirm it's his or somebody else's. Sofa. Anything in the sofa? Nothing here. Mirror. Can't see any clues here. He broke the mirror. Fair enough. But that doesn't mean he's a killer. Mattress. Nothing here. Photo. Oh, I see. Let's shine it on the axe. That's pointless. Let's shine the UV light. Oh, let's have a look at the picture first. Let's shine the UV light everywhere. Eh? It's a really bad quality photo. It's really hard to tell who's on it. Is it Joe? Who's the woman on the right? His wife? A friend? No, this is hardly an evidence. <laughs> an evidence. Right. Let us uh, shine the UV light on the photo. That's pointless. Let's shine the UV light everywhere. Can 
Can't you see if you light up the cat? No. Oh, can we use it with the wall? Deep down under my floor, I've hidden my fears. I've buried my love. Hmm, this doesn't really feel like a continuation of the text on the other wall. No, but it sure makes more sense than the other one. Axe. This point, I wasn't trying to combine them. I'm trying to use the axe on the floor. Did, he said he buried her. Ugh, I hate you. Let's go back over here then. I think I found kind of three pieces of kind of maybe evidence. Can I use the axe on the mirror? No. Can I use the axe on the mattress? No. What about the sofa? No. What about the TV? It's just saying I can't use the axe with the and that leaves it there. Can I use it on Terran Black? I better keep this axe. I might need it link. No. Can I use it on the wall? Okay, can I use the UV light on the floor? Can I use it on the phone? I hate you all. Is that you? You're so silly. Uh, anyway, I think we've run out of time. The next episode is probably going to be really short, but I'm going to have an explore until I can actually find something. So I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.